propanolol or propanolanolol, as I originally thought it was called when I saw it, is a medication we'll be discussing today in a continuation of the medication for migraine series I started. Uh, so what is propanolol? Well, it's of a larger family of drugs uh, used to treat blood pressure. Uh, so if you're uh, if your blood pressure is high, the worry is that your heart and uh, veins circulatory system have to work a lot harder because there's so much pressure, uh, both inside the veins and within the heart. Uh, and so a medication like propanolol would be prescribed uh, as a way of blocking epinephrine absorption or adrenaline uh, and thereby calming everything down in your vascular uh and circulatory system and lowering your blood pressure because your heart's not pumping as hard. Uh, for some reason, it has an added benefit of being a preventative medication for migraines. Uh, preventative medications, remember the kind you take not in response to a super painful migraine, say like Maxalt or the triptans uh, in general, uh, but this is something like amitriptyline where you'll take it every day, a certain dosage, uh, and over time, you should see a decrease in uh, frequency of migraines. Not necessarily intensity. When you get a migraine, it still might kick your ass, but you might not get as many ass kickings as you did before. Uh, so that's propanolol. Uh, I was on it for a while, two, two or three weeks. Uh, and that's roughly the time that it should take to, to build up in your system uh, a couple of the uh, links I'll have in the description uh, said it might take up to a month, uh, but my doctor, after three weeks of it not working, uh, moved me on to something else. Um, so I didn't really have any negative side effects with it. It wasn't anything uh, like, uh, what's the other one, to topiramate, which I'll, I'll do another video on. Uh, the topiramate had vicious side effects that really messed with me. Uh, the uh, propanolol just didn't do anything. I didn't feel any better, any worse. I didn't have any uh, super odd side effects. Um, I do get pretty dizzy when I have migraines. Uh, and so I wasn't entirely sure a uh, common symptom or a com common side effect of the uh, propanolol is that you, you might get dizzy. You know, it's affecting your blood pressure as well as trying to prevent migraines. And so if your blood pressure is being lowered, uh, you know, normal things like standing up or doing any sort of physical activity, uh, your heart rate, right, is going to be chemically restricted uh, from getting uh, high. And so you might just get super lightheaded because your body can't pump enough blood to the areas that need it when you uh, stand up or work out or something like that. Uh, but, you know, if that was the worst side effect, if it was a, a side effect from the propanolol, uh, pretty mild. Uh, it just didn't work for me. Uh, so it's a pretty short video. Uh, I guess side note, uh, some of you out there who watch these videos, all three of you, uh, might, you know, be asking yourself, Kevin, what's, you know, with the five minute video length, what are we doing here? Uh, why do you have to break up, you know, your video on depression and migraines into three parts instead of just one 15 minute part? Well, I'm using a laptop, a Chromebook, and there's no uh, dedicated software for long-term video recording. Uh, and so I have to use a website to do it in the website since it's a free service, which is great, only does it in five minute increments because uh, it has to process for me. Uh, and so, you know, if I were to do a 20, 30 hour long video or something, that would all be hogging the website's uh, resources. And so they keep it to five minutes. So I have to keep my videos to five minutes. Uh, but, you know, if we get enough people on this channel that like it, enough people that regularly, uh, you know, pay attention to me, uh, which won't happen because I'm the oldest, not the youngest, uh, then, you know, could feasibly start planning, uh, you know, a camera upgrade, maybe like a digital camera, and then I'd be able to just record videos at length and then upload them directly to YouTube, uh, maybe even do some video editing. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, what's your experience with propanolol? Propanolol? LOL is at the end, so you know it's a fun drug. Uh, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Someone put some comments down there. Come on. Let's get a YouTube discussion going. Uh, I'll see you later, guys.